Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Park City, Illinois, where we find the fraudulent tyrant Terminator audits as he attempts to go looking for a complaint that he can file. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's good, TTA fam? Back at y'all with another one. And today... We are at the Park City Police Department out in Park City, Illinois. And we're just getting ready to see if they respect our rights to record in public and to make sure that our rights are not infringed on by anyone at any time. You know, people do record in publicly accessible areas every day, dude, but they don't end up causing them out of trouble that you First Amendment frauditors cause every single day that you're out there. I mean, you guys, all you do is press buttons and that's all you want to do for clicks and views. Well, there are actual street photographers out there that don't annoy people. They have millions of subs and make quite a lot of money per year. I mean, you should really learn from those guys. But you're not. You just want to annoy people. That's all you guys want to do. I don't know. Starting to feel like they don't want me out here. I think that's what I'm. I think that's what it is. What's going on, officer? Um, just because I can. What? What's the? She? She said something. Yeah. What did she say? Hey. She's that you're taking pictures of all these cars here. Oh, okay. Well, there's nothing illegal about that, right? There's nothing illegal about it, but you, you just. Were what's your name and badge why. number, Officer Baker? What's your yeah. badge number? You, you got it right there. What's what your are, badge number? Okay, I don't have to tell you that. That is part of your policy okay. to tell me that. Citation needed, please, because not all police departments have that in their policy, and you should really look it up in their policy and be able to quote it from memory if you believe it is there. Okay. What's wrong, sir? Why are you coming out being so, unprofessional? I, I'm just asking why you're taking pictures of everything. But, I mean, if you're going to engage me, you can't give me your badge number like your policy okay. states? 68 times. Oh, man. Come on, being unprofessional. Yeah, with a suspicious subject in our lives. Do you have an ID on you? No, I don't provide ID. Okay. Minus a crime. You, huh? Well, here's the thing. You're acting suspiciously. Somebody's That's... somebody's reporting you acting suspiciously. Okay. So now we're involved. So I need so some it's, identification. So it's suspicious uh, felony or misdemeanor? Okay, it's neither right now. So, uh, okay, then, if I'm not suspected of a crime, I'm standing in public you're property not, you're not, you're not... exercising my First Amendment right. Okay. Are you going to wage war on that today, sir? I'm not looking to wage war. And this is the problem with First Amendment auditors. They stand around, stand around, stand around until they can get a response out of somebody and the police are called. Any former First Amendment auditor can tell you that, that they're just out there to get the police to respond to them so they can create a confrontation for clicks and views. So basically, these idiots... Uh, they tie up resources that may be needed elsewhere because they want that YouTube money. Somebody's saying that you're acting suspicious. I know you're also doing something over in Waukegan. Or That's correct. Dunkin Donuts. That's correct. I'm, I'm exercising my rights today, okay. sir. I understand that. Right now, mm -hmm. I'm, you were reported as being acting suspicious. By recording. It's my, it's my job. You're not doing anything wrong. That's correct. So why would I have to disclose my information to you if I haven't done anything nefarious or illegal? Because somebody's reporting activity that... Well, all you have to do as an officer is let them know that I'm not doing anything illegal. Okay, you're not doing anything. So why didn't you convey it to them, sir? Okay, well, they're, they're asking me to ask you what well, you're doing, and you're not... Going and to I just told you, I said, I'm standing here exercising my First Amendment right to record in public. Okay. Simple.
Okay, so you just want to stand around in a parking lot for hours on end for what now? So you can get a reaction out of certain people? I mean, that's all this is at this point, just standing there for hours on end, waiting for something to happen, as if you are fishing for something. I mean, that sounds like what it is. Have a good day. You still don't want to identify yourself? Okay, well, I'm going to come in and file a complaint on you. Definitely, man. Come out trying to give directives. No, absolutely not, man. You, 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 you turning out to be a tyrant, Officer Baker. You know, you're saying I need ID to file a complaint. Wow. All right, go ahead and ask. Okay, well, then, then that means they're going to hinder me from filing a complaint. I'm going to go in here and file some FOIA requests on you guys as well. This is ridiculous. Please, go ahead. I'll go after you. No, no, go ahead. I can go after you. <sighs> okay, whatever. Yeah, hey, I'll go after you. Right, What's, well, what? I'm going to stay, man, and we're going to be... You're recording me. You're going to be recording here. Yeah, I know. You're recording me now. Your body cam is on, right? Yes. Okay. Please, go ahead. Okay. This gentleman needs paperwork to file a complaint. Yeah, and I need to speak with a... Um, a, a higher authority officer as well. Someone, sergeant, lieutenant, deputy chief even possibly. I have some complaints on this officer here tried to just come in and fringe on my rights. Want to be able to make those people aware. Making your department look bad, man. Okay. Coming out asking for ID, knowing you don't have a right to it. And you're saying they said something about I'm suspicious when all you had to do was tell him he's doing nothing wrong. <laughs> That's okay. crazy. And then you just seen me over there at Dunkin' Donuts. I, okay, well, whatever. I'm going to have you fill out this. Yeah, I'm definitely, yeah. You know, all I hear at this point is just a grown man acting like a uh, spoiled, petulant, little man, baby, child. I mean, good freaking grief. Grow up, dude, and actually read the Constitution because they'll need your ID because... In the co a court of law, if this uh, a complaint goes through, then, uh, well, the uh, accuser is going to have to face the accused. So IDs are going to be needed. They're going to need to know who you are. So can't you get that through your thick skull, dumbass? Are you the commander, sir? Commander Stoves, yeah. Stoves. And uh, the situation was... Uh, Standing right over here in the parking lot, there, right here on the, on the other side of you guys is uh, whatever this is a shack. Yeah. And I was shack. shit. There you go. And I was just recording, and I noticed I see a dispensary is connected to you guys' lot, and that's something I never seen before. So I turned my camera that way, and obviously two young ladies from over there didn't like that. Uh, so they came and got one of you guys, Officer Baker, it is, yeah. and he tried to come out and infringe on my rights to record and. He tried to ID me. Obviously, of course, he was unsuccessful. But okay. still, though, to even try to come and force that type of will, is, is we, we shouldn't have that. Uh, it makes the department look terrible. Okay. You know what else makes people look bad? Lying like a little SOB. Like you, like all frauditors. Of course, you gotta lie to fraud it because, well, in this case, he didn't violate your Fourth Amendment rights because he was investigating a situation. I mean, it's in their duties to do that. If they didn't do that, then they would be in dereliction of their duties, and then you would complain about that. That... I'm just wanted to be able to see, get your uh, professional opinion on his conduct. It sounds to me like somebody called, so he got dispatched for suspicious activity. So we went to go look at. How's it suspicious, sir? You 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 saying that it's suspicious as well? Well, I'm saying you use the word suspicious as well. So. Okay, so uh, from your own from your own uh, um, your own opinion, do that sound suspicious? Doesn't sound normal, but yeah. Oh, well, I'm like, well, right, well, I mean, some, like I said, I always use this analogy. Some people put peanut butter on pancakes. That don't sound normal, but is is it illegal?
Oh, yeah, you got to love the false equivalency fallacies that these idiotic frauditors love to f- throw around. You're talking about apples to oranges here. In this case, the apple being the suspicious activity and the orange being the food reference. The suspicious activity and the uh, food have nothing in common in this case, so therefore, false equivalency. You are an idiot. Exactly. So he shouldn't even came out and engaged me. Um, he had to because he was dispatched to it. So. Well, the young lady came in. That's still considered dispatched. She didn't call. It, it, there was a dispatch call of somebody that was out there recording, and that's a little unusual. So he went to go see what was going on. Really? Yeah. That's that just just that just don't sound right. And then if, I mean, even if somebody if somebody was to call and say, "Officer, somebody's out here recording," all he had to do was just say, "You know what?" He's not doing anything illegal. That's his First Amendment right. Leave him alone. Why Why don't you officers ever do that? <laughs> because when we get called, we've got a duty to respond to what the people call about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're, whoa, slow down, officer. You're going way above this frauditor's intelligence level. you got to dumb it down for him. I mean, the fact that an officer is doing his duty is a foreign concept to him i mean he won't ever get it because he doesn't have a job that entails having duties to perform but at any rate uh, let's go ahead and fast forward to the next segment where he files his complaint because it, this uh, argument goes on for a few more minutes but it's filled with nothing more than false equivalencies and other argument fallacies uh, that this frauditor just can't seem to comprehend. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Many, many minutes later. Hey, you know what? Is the mayor's office? No, he's not, it's not in this office, is it? It's actually, if you go out this door, down the ramp, it's literally the next door over. You'll be in front of the city hall. Okay. And they'll be able to help you with the mayor. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. TTA family, so yeah, we filed a complaint, uh, we filed a FOIA. Well, apparently he didn't get any satisfaction anywhere in this police department because he wanted to complain on an officer who's actually doing his job, so he's going to go to the mayor and complain over there. But good luck getting an appointment right there. I mean, I doubt he would want to see a no good, dirty, uh, dumbass frauditor. So you will just have to remain pissed off about a uh, officer doing his job. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.